Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and Taurus Rising. Uh, weekly tarot reading August 26th to September 1st, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we're going to jump right into it. Oops. Right, that's good enough. So the first card which represents the topic of your week is going to be the Four of Swords, followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the week. This is going to be the King of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the Four of Cups which stands for the positive aspect and the final one is going to be the Six of Swords which represents the guidance a very interesting one okay so um well all in all it does look like that the week is going to present you with a, a good opportunity guys with a kind of like a, a very tempting offer or a helping hand is going to come into your way all right but also in the same time um how do I place it? You may feel that there is something sketchy behind it, okay? That is the one way you can say it, or the other the other version of how this reading could come around is that this offer or helping hand is not going to present itself to you in a clear way. And for that reason, you know, you need to read um, among the rows. I don't know how to say it how to say it in English. It is like to assume things, okay? But before we go into that, let's run the cards one more time here. We do have the Four of Swords, which stands for the topic of the week, followed by the King of Cups, which represents the uh, challenges. Afterwards, we do have the Four of Cups, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the final one is going to be the Six of Swords, which represents the guidance. All right. So, Four of Swords, it is a card which uh, stands for that you, this week, you are going to be granted a, a time to take a break, to catch up your breath, reassess your strategies, reassess your positions as well, you know, and decide what is going to be your next move moving forward, either in regards to your career or either in regards to your relationship. And like, uh, like I said at the start here of the overview of the reading, because I saw the other cards, I know that this time, because the Four of Swords is also about deliberations, okay, with a faithful companion or with a group of, with a group of, group of people, okay, and the deliberations is going to be all about should you take that opportunity, like, like said, you know, a attempting offer or a helping hand and work out with it. And this, because there we are going to be a deliber del deliberations, probably there will be some stipulations that are accompanying this either offer or a helping hand, which some of you may find okay, some of you may find not that okay, you know, but the whole point with the Four of Swords here is that you should not rush your decision and try to to do as best as you can 
to see the situation for what the situation truly is. Because you can, should you listen to those faithful companions that you are going to deliberate with. The accompanied card is going to be the Page of Wands formation. It is the active uh, friends here. And first of all, with the Page of Wands and the Four of Swords, I would say that whatever is in front of you, it is only for you to take, okay? Even though you may deliberate with different people, they cannot accompany you throughout this, this path and this road. Also, this combination, uh, it does represent the, the thrill you are going to have, having a, a new opening, you know, having a, 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 that offer, for example, or um, having this helping hand coming around. It is not different that you're going to start feeling yourself special and special you are. But with this combination here, there is also something very, um, I would say, subtle and, and elegant uh, because it does points of how strong you are on your own accord, which speaks that should this be a, a good offer coming in your way, it is absolutely because, you know, you can definitely deal with the job or you can perform with the job and etc, etc, because the page of wands, it is always reminded of the personal strength and these deliberations are going to remind you of how strong you actually are. Now, the next one, it is the challenge that you need to overcome, and that is the very person which is either going to come for a, to, to lend you a helping hand or is going to give you that tempting offer. So, uh, King of Cups, why it is, it is a challenge? It is because simply you cannot, you, you don't know what this, what this man or a woman here is thinking. The King of Cups, it is the card with the per, that characterizes the person that has a poker face. He does have, a, he or she does have an emotion, but is a master of hiding those emotions. Okay, even if this person, for example, loves you, they're not going to show it unless they're absolutely certain that you are experiencing the same thing, okay? And that makes it that that makes you exactly special. They coming to you, either helping you or offering you something, speaks two things. Either they find you very professional of what you do, should this be a, um, a you know a career offer, or they really have an emotional um, emotional attachment to you should be in regards to something else. And you shouldn't um, <clears throat> mistake this for love, okay? It could be, all right? But it also could be like a, a very deep detachment, uh, attachment, excuse me, in the sense of like brother and sister, you know, or in a sense of like father and child. That could be, let's say, that you are a girl 20 years old and... Uh, your professor, which is a 60 years old, offers you to help you with something, you know, that you are struggling with in, in your class. That doesn't mean that this person is in love with you. Yeah, it may love you as a father, okay? But it doesn't mean that they want to sleep with you, all right? So even though the, the intentions of the King of Cups may be provoked by love, that doesn't necessarily have to be this intimate love. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, King of Wands. And wow, I mean, that person is really going out of his way to, to either help you or to offer you the job or to present you with this, uh, with this idea of theirs. We do have a, a passive enemies that we do, uh, that, that these cards form, all right? And while his actions need to be directed in a different in a different overview or in a different fulcrum, they came to you for some reason, all right? And uh, in my book, you should honor this reason. So, <clears throat> what is the challenge here? You may ask. Well, the challenge is not to take this thing way too. Uh, I would say personal. In a sense of that, should this person approach you, approaches you with a, uh, a business proposal, you, sh you should stick with the business thing, all right? Even though you may like the person, even though there may be a chemistry in between you two, you should not mix the pleasure with business and vice versa as well. That is going to be the challenge because even if there is a, a business proposition, that person finds something, something in you, all right? And sooner or later there are going to be an emotional attachment and one of you may mistake it for love 
okay and while the other may just experience that kind of attachment like i said brother and sister or a father and daughter or a father and a father and son you know or a mother and son and etc etc so the positive aspect uh it is the four of cups for it is a very good card in your case taurus it does speaks that there is no wrong choice that you can make you can take the deal you can pass it either way it's gonna suit you well although the card is more favorable about taking the deal okay you can decide to um neglect it it is because the card are in a positive position it is a testament that you still have what to consume with your undergoing endeavors and you actually don't need that deal should you want to find yourself happy okay the accompanied card here is going to be the Ace of Wands and the formation. It is the passive enemies that we do have. And uh, you're not going to be a gambler. It is simply what these cards are pointing. Should you take the deal, you would want to know everything about it. All right. Uh, this is not, even though you may be excited, this card says that you are not going to be blinded by the excitement. You may not be blinded by a, a, a sugar coating, for example, or a promises of greatness and highness in these kind of stuff. It is simply you are going to be very objective here and you want to know uh, when this person comes around, should they wish to help you, what that help is going to cost you because there is no such thing as a free lunch, at least with these cards, all right? Or if they offer you a, a job, you know, or they offer to be with you in a relationship, you will want to know, you know, um what is the catch okay and uh that that is why you're going to have those uh deliberations even because the it is unlikely that the uh king of cups is going to divulge you the whole information it is just it is just not how they operate they are always very balanced they do not go to any extreme meaning they do not lie but in the same time they ain't telling the whole truth all right and the last one, um, it is the guidance that you should follow here, or rather like it is advisable for you to follow. We do have the Six of Swords, and that is another testament that there is no right or wrong decision here. Uh, but also it points that it will be <clears throat> a bit of a, um, well, an, an unexplored potential with with the offer that the King of, the, the King of Cups comes around with, all right? Uh, it simply, it could go uh, beyond your expectations, but it may not face ex your expectations as well. It is not much of a, a guidance card, I would say. It's very baffling card in this case. One second to draw one more. Here we do have the temperance formation. It is the active uh, friends that we do have. These two cards are speaking for a lot of chores. Should you take the opportunity or should you allow this person to help you? A lot of chores are awaiting you along the way. There will be definitely some sort of a stipulation or a deal stroke in between you and this person. May It may not be on a paper, right? But you are going to feel yourself obliged to return the favor or you're going to feel like you owe him your life or something like this, you know, and uh, you're going to give more from yourself than you have to. It's that that is not necessarily wrong. OK. Should you like the person, let's say, or like what you do, there is nothing wrong with it. But just so you know, here with these two cards, is that should you take to decide to move forward with, uh, with the King of Cups? Yes, this is going to improve your circumstances. But in the same time, like I said, it's going to place a lot of chores at your shoulders as a burden that, sh that you simply have no choice but to perform on them. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 26th to uh, September 1st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.